So here we are on the grid for <coughs> the start of round six of the Cappuccino Induction League, which was on the uh, the Sunday the 10th, just gone. Um, it was a really close race, a really exciting race. We've got Slim on pole position, uh, followed by Couch Potato, Mad Dog, Jumpy Boy, Mr Egg, uh, me, Jinobi, Jai Kai and Raced 42, so it's reverse grid order. Um, and I was very determined to uh, give it a really good start here, which I did. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to give you a little bit of guided commentary as we go through the race because uh, it was a really good race. I'm going to skip some laps, of course, but here we go with the start. So uh, <coughs> here straight away, uh, Slim uh, keeps the advantage off the line, I believe. Um, now, I decided not to conform and not to keep with people who were going to the right. Uh, that's me, uh, number 32. Now there's three of us stay to the left there, trying to make a bit of a dive down, down the inside. There's a lot of grip on the inside of these corners. And already, look, I've made it stick with a lot of people sliding out wide. And I've gained uh, two places there, I believe. I've gone from six and I'm now up to third nearly. Uh, couch Potatoes in front, um, but I'm managing to, uh, to kind of uh, get past him in a moment, I think. I think I've done it there. So now, up into third. So I've gained three places in the first few corners. And that's what I've learned. Really, you've got to be reasonably aggressive, but assertive. Oh, there's a big off there in the background. I'm not quite sure who that was. Um, I'm guessing it's race, uh, race 42, because he's in ninth position at the moment. Uh, something majorly went wrong there. He probably, probably went off the, off the back there. Now, um, quite close behind um, second place man at the mo uh, Mad Dog at the moment. Uh, accelerating down the hill on the back stretch of the circuit on the first lap. There's a lot going off behind. Now I know there was an incident uh, with Couch Potato in fourth, so let's see if we can ha see what happens there. If we're looking back in fourth place, uh, we, we may get a glimpse. I think something happened, he got clipped or something, he went on the grass, straight off onto the grass, uh, sliding down and across, and that's just going to end in, in basically in carnage at the bottom there with a pile up and cause loads and loads of damage. Uh, which is a great shame actually uh, for Couch Potato because they're doing really well there up in up in top position. Now here I've gone for another overtake on uh, Mad Dog and I'm now up into second place so one lap we've moved up four places there from sixth to seventh. Now the main guy uh, Ginobi who uh, was causing me some problems in the last race through fair fighting and everything we, we, we happened to co uh, contact each other it was very very close and basically I think me and him were the quickest through this field um, I had to get away from him, which is why I had to be assertive at the start. Now, uh, now Ginobi has got up to fourth at this place, and he's just got to take Mad Dog before he's up behind me. <clears throat> but at this moment in time, I'm feeling a little bit pressured here. We can see by Mad Dog. Is Mad Dog going to go down the inside and do a dive? He hasn't, but I suspect here if he's really close behind me, I'm going to go defensive and stay to the left of the circuit, but he's not, so I didn't bother. So that was quite an exciting um, opening uh, gambit, an opening gambit to the race. Now, I'm going to skip a few laps here. So we're on lap two, we'll go to lap three, uh, still the same positions, lap four, still the same positions, and uh, we'll go to lap five, still the same positions, um, really wasn't gaining much to be honest with you, I was quite happy just sitting in second place and taking the points, but soon what you'll notice is Ginobi gets up into, um, into third place and overtakes uh, Mad Dog McTaz, so let's just go ahead to Lap six, and Ginobi now has made the move. Ginobi is now up into uh, third place. There he is behind me on the main straight. So this might be worth watching, uh, just to see if he does close uh, that little bit. In fact, no, what I'll do is I'll go one more lap ahead. We'll go to lap seven here. Now, Ginobi's a lot closer. There's me and Ginobi going down the straight. You'll notice Ginobi car's different design. He's, uh, although it's the black and white car, he's got the blue alloys on the car, so it's quite easy to, uh, to pick out compared to me. Now what me and Ginobi were noticing at the minute is, because I was really having to push to try to keep him behind me, because to be fair, he, he was a little bit quicker than me. Particularly down this section here, and you'll notice how much he closes. I don't really know what trickery he was using, but he was really, really on it down here. You can see, tight up behind me now, there's nothing in it. And what I was hoping is that we didn't have a coming together again like we did on the last one. But in all credit to Ginobi, he was, he was really hanging back there. Uh, I think he'd kind of figured out that it wasn't a good place to try to go through and also that I wasn't going to yield. Now do you see the switchback I did on him then? Uh, I was deciding that uh, I, I wanted to keep to the inside of the track to stop him overtaking me. Um, and he really is breathing down me all over, all over the place. It was really, really difficult. Now, I've got the inside line to this corner, which means I'm travelling a shorter distance than, than him. Um, uh, and therefore I can be quicker than him. Now, 
looking ahead, you can see that we're gaining on Slim. Slim's doing a really good job out there. He's kind of a bit of an unsung hero from this race. He did a very, very good job. Uh, considering he finished last in the last race for, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not really sure. But also, me and Ginobi battling, it's not only pushing us close to Sim, we're now getting uh, caught up by Jai Kai. There he is in the same screenshot on the background. Uh, and he's closely followed by Mad Dog, so they started to get their act together. They're really starting to close now. Do I go defensive here? Is he going to have a dive down the inside, Ginobi? Well, no, he's not, but I go a little bit defensive, taking that inside line. Stopping him from doing the cutback on me as well, because there's a lot more grip than you think on the inside of that circuit there. Now, I'll just skip another lap. Um just to keep up to breast with this race. So we're on lap 9 now, Ginobi is again still right behind me uh, and we'll skip to lap 10 because um, I think on lap 11 um, for me the overtake uh, that won me the race came. Now at the moment we're really really close, we've been pushed right onto the back of Slim and Slim's doing a really good job here to, uh, to hold us off so I mean this is a three way battle and it could go anywhere at this point in time and I'm just thinking, well, I'll just keep it as clean as I can, but as, as fast as I can. Um, and I absolutely will cover my back, because if I don't make a defensive move on each corner, or at least on the main breaking points where I can be dived on the inside, Ginobi will be straight past me. And I was also convinced that if he gets past me, um, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, to get him back, because he really was seriously quick around here. Um, so, <coughs> I think if we... Um, Wait until we get around to the other side of the circuit, we'll see what's happening now. In the meantime, it's dropped to seven players, so two has obviously dropped out. Uh, Mr. Potato's gone, um, probably got just severe damage and decided to pull off. Uh, it's still in um, uh, still in um, fifth place is Race 42, sixth is Mad Dog McTaz, and seventh is Jumpy Boy. Um, I'm sure they're doing a pretty decent job at, at the back of the field, they're having their own little tussles. Uh, but meanwhile, still up the front there, it's uh, it's us three, so it's Slim still leading, uh, me DMGH32, followed by Ginobi. Now Ginobi's got the slipstream and Ginobi comes past. Now this for me, this was the overtake of the race. This determined whether I would win the race or not, because Ginobi's ahead and if he stays ahead I won't beat him. So here I'm slipstreaming him back, I dive down the inside, late on the brakes, as late as I could possibly leave it, and I outbreak him into the corner. And I have the inside line, and crucially here, this means I'm ahead of him, so I can exit the corner in my own fashion, and he was behind me that, by that point. Now for me, if I hadn't have done that, I would have lost the race without a shadow of a doubt. I'm convinced that was the overtake uh, that won me the race, and that's two laps to go. So again, Slim, again, what a cracking job. He's just quite happily sat there out from uh, driving his own race, not getting pressured by us two. Uh, and Jaikai is now a lot closer as well because obviously me and Ginobi have been slowing, uh, slowing ourselves down here again look I went a little bit defensive to try to stop uh, to stop Ginobi coming down the inside um, now looking ahead we're going down the back section of the straight again or the back section of the circuit now the break in here um, the break in here as you go into the uh, to the hairpin at the bottom is extremely difficult you've got to get the speed down of the car if you don't, then the back will just snap away and you'll be end up being wide. Then I found that just keeping it really tight gives me the inside line. So there I went defensive to stop JK uh, attacking me. Uh, Ginobi, sorry. To stop, stop Ginobi attacking me. And uh, I kept the car on the inside of the circuit. And I, and I think it was quicker. Now look here. I knew that, uh, that Ginobi was at the side of me and I chose to stay where I was because it kind of boxed him in a bit but look at that, it's three down the straight now here I was just praying and hoping it's not going to end up in a big accident let's see what happened, I hope it's not a big accident and uh, through the middle was Slim driving really well and that slowed down uh, Ginobi which again gave me a little bit more of an advantage but what unbelievable driving all three, all three of those drivers deserve a medal because to go through there like that was incredible and we, we're almost three of us now at the moment and Slim has now got uh, uh, Ginobi back oh and Ginobi's now got Slim back so this is real real on it racing real close racing and it's good stuff to watch it's amazing stuff to take part in as well um, so I think really that's the main highlights there's not much happens now I don't think having said that look I'm diving to the inside to try to to stop again, to stop Ginobi coming past, but look at Slim, what a superb jump by Slim, he's back up, back up on the inside, and uh, oh, off at the back there is Jaika, he's obviously run a little bit wide, just kind of run out of talent for a short moment of time, but coming down the back straight, again, or the back curve we should call it, to the heavy braking zone, I'm convinced that I have got to go defensive here, because 
of how close Ginobi is. So I'll be over on the right hand side of the circuit. Good, Ginobi went for the dive and only just missed the back of me when I went for that dive. Three abreast into the, into the uh, last corner again and then back up on the main straight. And that, guys, is pretty much how the race ended. So I'll just fast forward it to the uh, last lap now. And as you can see there, that is how the Rastet race ended. It was absolutely superb racing by everybody. Uh, Slim did a superb job. Um, uh, oh, actually, no, this isn't the last lap. I apologise. The, the, there's one more lap to do, but Slim still did a superb job anyway. Um, and I can't remember the or the finishing order to be fair, so we will stay on board for the uh, for the last lap. I apologise, I thought that was the last lap. Um, but now, as you can see, I've pulled away a little bit, and what I find in these cars that are very evenly matched is if you get a gap like the gap that we've got there, which is about four or five or six car lengths, it can be very difficult for the other guys, particularly when they're battling, to get uh, back back in the frame. And I remember uh, doing the race at. Um, the autumn ring, the first race, which was round um, four, and that was very difficult um, because I was not quite as aggressive as I could have been, and the guys ahead just got away, and then I was unable to catch them because I was just matching their lap time. So uh, we're coming round now to the uh, back straight for the last time. The C order race order is DMGH, Ginobi, Slim in fourth, Jai Kai, fifth race 42, uh, six Mad Dog, and seven uh, Jumpy Bob around the last corner, going up the main straight, uh, it's a clear win for DMJH, um, it's a clear second for Ginobi, and oh look at race, uh, Jaikai and Slim, Jaikai and Slim so close together there for a third and fourth position, who gets it on the line, who gets it on the line, it's, it's Slim just took it on the line, three points for Slim and that was really, that was well deserved to be fair, seeing as he led for most of the race, so that was really really good racing guys, and it was excellent to take part in. So we're looking forward now, the next uh, rounds are at uh, Suzuka and to Scuba and they'll be next Sunday. So uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully scoring some good points there. Uh, and I'm looking forward to some more good racing. Uh, it w and there were no, no yellows in that race as well, which is good to see. So uh, well played from everyone. Thanks for watching.